Hey guys, it's the Yard Girls. It's just me today, Shanat. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look. So we're gonna be doing a tutorial together today. I'm not even gonna talk that much because I know you guys wanna get straight into this look. Before I go, if you are not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed. Click that subscribe button below. Comment below, tell me what you think about this look. Now let's get right into this video. All right guys, I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I parted my hair into two sections, front and back. So I wanted five Bantu knots in the front of my head and I wanted them to be parted triangular, so that's what I'm doing now. Just so you guys know, parting your hair is so hard, especially because you want it to be perfect, but just remember that it does not have to be perfect. It just needs to look nice. <laughs> so these are what my five Bantu knots look like. My parts are not perfect and that is A-OK. -okay. It is nice still, it is wearable, and that is the goal, okay? <laughs> I wanted four bantu knots in the back. This is my hair completely parted into sections ready for the bantu knots. I put my hair into little ponytails so my hair could stay contained. Woo, okay, we are done with the hard part. Moving on to the easier part. Time to slay and lay these edges, lay our hair. I'm laying my hair with Pattern Beauty Extra Hold Gel. I would not recommend using that gel for this hairstyle. If I could go back, I would definitely, definitely, definitely use an edge control, a really good edge control. I'm putting my hair back into a neater ponytail. Make sure when you're doing this step, you don't put your ponytail too tight because you will get a headache and we don't want no headaches over here, okay? So this is what my hair looks like, completely laid. So I'm going to be using braiding here to make my bantu knots look a little fuller. So wrap the braiding hair around the ponytail that you have and we are going to braid it. not the best braider ever you do not have to be the best braider ever to do this hairstyle which is great so I'm not gonna braid my hair all the way down to the bottom I'm gonna braid it about halfway when I get halfway I'm going to twist it and then wrap it around my hair and of course it'll untwist a little bit so retwist as you go I found that the trick to this was twisting your hair as you wrapped your hair around because you get that cinnamon bun effect look and I love that look. When securing my bantu knot, I didn't use a bobby pin or another ponytail to help me secure it. I just made sure to tuck it really well so it wouldn't come loose. As you can see, I had a little curl sticking out, so I just put a little gel on there to lay it down. All right, guys, we are going to do this again. We are going to take the braiding hair, wrap it around your real hair, and begin braiding. So I'm only going to braid a little bit and then you can add a little bit of gel or edge control to your hair to help lay your natural hair and the braiding hair together. After the braid, you are going to twist and then wrap. Remember, this is the trick to the Cinnabon look, okay? So twist and then wrap.
So this is the finished product. I absolutely love it. I didn't expect it to turn out this great, but it is fire. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, this video as much as I did. I really enjoyed making it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.